Hey folks, uh, Mr. Mathlog here, and uh, this uh, lesson is on two-step equations, so we're doing uh, two different things. So there's our, our common core strand for the teachers, and here we're going to use the properties of equality, the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, uh, to, set, uh, to solve two-step equations. So how can we add, subtract, multiply, and divide to solve these? Okay, so remember, you guys, to solve equations, you use order of operations backwards. So instead of doing parentheses first, I do parentheses last and multiplication and division I do uh, after I do the addition and subtraction. So I do all the adding and subtracting. I do everything opposite, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Solve each equation. 2x plus 3 equals 9. Okay, so I got to get rid of this plus 3 first because I got to do the addition first, uh, the addition stuff first. Addition and subtraction. So to get rid of plus 3, I do minus 3. And remember, what you do to one side, you got to do to the other side. So I minus 3 on both sides of the equal sign right there. Okay? And then the plus 3 and the minus 3 are going to cancel right here. And then 9 minus 3 is 6. So I'm left with this 2x equals 6. So now I divide both sides by 2. When you divide both sides by 2, the 2's the cancel. And over here, 2 goes into 6 3 times. So x equals 3. Okay, nice and easy. All right, so let's try this one here, okay? So remember, we do all the addition and subtraction first. This one says it has plus negative 4. Okay, so to get rid of this negative 4, I add 4 to both sides, okay? So I'm going to get rid of a minus 4 by plusing 4. So let's plus 4 to both sides right here. Okay, and then this minus 4 and plus 4 will cancel out, and I'm left with 3x equals um, uh, the 5 plus 4, which is 9. Then you divide uh, both sides by 3, and you get x equals 3 again. I don't know why I was stuck on 3 on these here. So let's try another one here, so it's not always 3. Okay, here, we've got to get rid of first the minus 9. So we're, we're going to go ahead and plus 9 to both sides. Okay, if you're a teacher, if you haven't um, paused them yet, so go ahead and pause and let the students do it. You too, also, pause down here. There's a little pause button over here. Pause down there and then see if you can get this. Okay, so you're going to add 9 to both sides. All right, and then uh, 33 plus 9, let's see, 9 plus uh, uh, 3 plus uh, 9 is 12. Carry the 1, so 1 plus 3 is 4. So this is 42 over here. These cancel over here, so we have 7x equals 42. Come on, computer, okay. Uh, and then divide both sides by 7 now, so you get x equals 6 when we do that, okay? Nice and easy, right? All right, here's one with the fraction here. Don't let that scare you, you guys. We're just going to do uh, uh, our multiplicative inverse here in just a second. But first, we've got to get rid of the plus 6 first. So we're going to get a minus 6 on both sides, okay? So when we minus 6 on both sides, uh, we get the 1 half x equals 4. Okay, now to get rid of 1 half, we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 1 half. And the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 or 2 over 1. So I'm going to put uh, parentheses around this side and around this side and both mark them. And then multiply both sides by 2. Okay, now these 2's will cancel right here and over here we have 4 times 2 which is which is 8. Okay, so x equals 8. Alright, easy enough. Alright, let's try this one. Okay, you try this one. So pause it and you, you figure it out. Okay, let's go come back and we're going to subtract 5 from both sides and you'll see I'm stuck on 3 again for whatever reason. So uh, just a, they're not always three, but it seems like I'm getting three on these all the time. So x equals three right there. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, here's another one right here. Okay, the negatives. This is where kids get uh, messed up. My students, uh, including me, sometimes you guys, I will admit. Okay, first I got to get rid of this minus six. So I'm going to plus six and plus six. Okay. And then the 6's will cancel. I know those will cancel. And remember the number line, you guys. Negative 8 plus 6. If we went over here, if this was 0 right here, and then go over here to negative 8, and then plus 6 would take us back 6 that way, we'd be back at negative 2. Okay, so, so um, those cancel. On this side, I get negative 2. So here I have negative 2x equals negative 2. Okay, now I'm going to divide by this number right here. Not 2. Going to divide by negative two. Don't don't lose the negatives, you guys. Um, um, I, I I see that a lot, you guys, including me. Okay, so you get x equals positive one because over here we have a negative divided by negative and it's uh, equal to one. All right. Okay, another fraction one right here. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and get rid of this minus five on both sides. So I'm going to go plus five plus five. We add out the minus five. Okay. When we do that, three plus five equals eight, and I have two thirds x equals 8. Do you remember how to get rid of 2 thirds? Remember the reciprocal, you guys? 
We're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. It's called the multiplicative inverse. So when we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of two-thirds is three-halves. So I'm going to wrap parentheses around it and put three-halves on both sides. Okay, so they cancel over there. And then over here, I put a one underneath the eight because it's eight over one. And then I can cross-cancel. Two goes into eight four times. And I'm left with x equals uh, four times three. This four times this three. Four times three is twelve. All right, let's try an application problem here, you guys. A, a reasonably simple one. So the value of y is... Okay, do you know what is means in math? It's an equal sign. So this, this is the same as y equals 7 more than. 7 more than means something plus 7. So something plus 7. 7 more than 2 times the value of x. So this would be 2x right here. So this would be y equals, and we'll write this first, 2x plus 7. Okay? y equals 2x plus 7. You can see I did it in colors. Here's my y is in blue. Here's my 2 times the value of x in purple I did right here. And then 7 more than is this red stuff right here. Okay, so here's my equation. Then this says find x when y is 15. So I'm going to plug in 15 right there and solve for x. Okay, so when we plug in 15, um, we're going to go ahead and solve for x. So here we're going to go ahead and do this, get rid of this plus 7 and minus 7 on both sides. So minus 7, minus 7. 15 minus 7 was 8 yesterday. It still is. So 2x equals 8 and x equals 4. Okay, I hope that helps. If it does, please click like. If it doesn't, please click dislike. And if you feel at all inclined, please subscribe. Take care, everybody.